Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. As India stands on the cusp of industrial revolution 4.0, the time has come to chin up and walk straight with head held high on the back of some of the biggest global standard infrastructure in the country. The state of Haryana has always been persistently walking the lines of development for the past couple of decades. As the state is geographically well located with the basic infrastructure put into place, Haryana sits on the driving seat of every Indian's aspiration of a new developed India. Before we move ahead, I would request you to please like, share and subscribe the channel and do not forget to push the bell icon positively. The name of Haryana instantly conjures up the image of a state which astonishingly combines both and antiquity and plenty. The Vedic land of Haryana has always been a cradle of Indian culture and civilization. Chandigarh is the state capital, Faridabad and national capital region is the most populous city of the state and Gurgaon is the leading financial hub of the NCR with major Fortune 500 companies located in it. The official language of Haryana is Hindi. Several regional languages or dialects often subsumed under Hindi are spoken in the state. Predominant among them is Haryanvi, whose territory encompasses the central and eastern portions of Haryana. Cities like Gurgaon is considered one of the major information technology and automobile hubs of India. Services sector is split across 45% in real estate and financial and professional services, 26% trade and hospitality, 15% state and central government employees and 14% transport and logistic and warehousing sector. In IT services, Gurgaon ranks number one in India in growth rate and existing technology infrastructure and number two in startup ecosystem, innovation and livability. Haryana is traditionally an agrarian society of zamindars. The Green Revolution in Haryana of the 1960s combined with completion of Bhakra Dam in 1963 and Western Yamuna Command Network Canal System in 1970s resulted in the significantly increased food grain production. Now that we have understood plenty of fascinating aspects of Haryana, let us look at the top 5 biggest mega projects coming up in the state of Haryana. To make it more thrilling, we will move from bottom to top depending on the importance of the particular projects. The fifth position is grabbed by the Trans Haryana Expressways. The Trans Haryana Expressway or Ambala Narnaul Expressway is a 227 km long and 6 lane wide axis controlled expressway in the Indian state of Haryana. Its straight line greenfield alignment will reduce the distance from the state capital Chandigarh to Delhi, Narnaul and Jaipur while decongesting NH44 and NH48. The alignment intersects with at least 15 national highways including NH9 and several state highways including SH6, SH9, SH8, SH11 and many more. Area around it is being developed as an industrial corridor. Land acquisition is complete and construction work is expected to be completed by December 2021. Costing Rs 5,108 crore, it will have 70 meter right of way, 122 bridges and underpasses and 1,36,000 trees will be planted on either sides which is being developed by the National Highways Authority of India under Bharat Mala project. Greenfield alignment will reduce the Ismailabad to Narnaul distance by 35 km from the existing 265 km route to 230 km new route. The mega project will be completed by the end of February 2022. Moving to the mega project which sits in the fourth position is the aerospace hub coming up near Hisar. Hisar is set to house an ultra-modern integrated aviation hub that would provide facilities including designing, engineering, servicing and maintaining aircrafts. Haryana State Industrial and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited has announced to set up the hub in Hisar to cater the requirements of the maintenance, repair and overhaul services, fixed base operations and an aerospace park. The MRO facility at the proposed park would include airframe, engine and components whereas FBO would include parking and transit facilities, fueling and flight planning, lounge and recreational facilities for pilots and crews and many more. The aerospace park will manufacture components for aerospace and defense sectors. MRO facility is viable for this project as the Indian aviation industry gets MRO to work outsourced outside the country. Less than 5% of MRO work is done in India. The civil aviation sector has gained momentum during the last decade and India is the ninth civil aviation market. According to the report of KPMG FICCI, the Indian civil aviation industry is the third largest market in the aviation sector and will be the largest market by the year 2030. The project is currently under implementation. The mega project that sits in the third position is the Hisar International Airport. 
Haryana government has decided to spend rupees 946 crore on the construction work of Maharaja Agrasen International Hisar Airport. The allocated funds will be spent on different head to complete the ongoing airport construction works in the second phase. The second phase of the construction of Hisar Airport being developed as an integrated aviation hub includes the construction of a cargo railway line in addition to a passenger line near Raipur. The construction of an international airport in Hisar is an ambitious plan for the people of the entire state. It is a matter of pride for the people of the state that the Hisar Airport has been named after Maharaja Agrasen by the government. The city of Agroha which was established by Maharaja Agrasen is just 20 km from Hisar and will now get the international recognition with the naming of the new international airport. Allocated funds will be used during the next 3 years. Work to develop Hisar as an aviation hub is going at a brisk pace. Around 15% of the total work worth rupees 164 crore for construction of runway, taxiway and airport apron has been completed and 75% to 90% excavation work of runway and earthwork is done. Under the allocated amount construction of 3000 meter runway with cat light facility in the airport a terminal building 23 meter wide taxi tracks parking stands a cargo terminal a fire station and air traffic control building a boundary wall light maintenance building and many more will be constructed shifting our attention to the second mega project which is the ambitious revari aims the union cabinet chaired by the prime minister narendra modi approved the establishment of new all india institute of medical science revari at manethi haryana at a cost of rupees 1299 crore the cabinet also approved the creation of a post of a director in the basic pay of rupees 2 lakh 25000 plus non practicing allowance for the above aims the site for this aim has already been finalized as already told you at manethi in revari which is in haryana like other aims in the country the aims revari will also be set up under the pradhan mantri swasthya suraksha yojana the cost of construction and running of the new aims would be met by the central government under pm ssy The objective is to establish the new aims as institutions of national importance for providing quality tertiary health care, medical education, nursing education and research in the region. The various features of aims revari are the new aims will involve a hospital with a capacity of 750 beds, teaching block for medical and nursing courses, residential complex and allied facilities broadly on the pattern of aims new delhi. There will be a medical college, Ayush block, auditorium, night shelter, guest house, hostels and residential facilities. It will have an Ayush department with 30 beds for providing treatment facilities in traditional system of medicine. The construction work of AIMS Revari is currently going at brisk pace. The mega project which sits with royalty in the first position is the futuristic global city Gurugram. The Haryana government is developing a global city over 1000 acres area in Gurugram district adjoining the national capital. This global city is poised to serve as an important node to Delhi Mumbai industrial corridor sub region of Haryana and carries an investment potential of dollar 15 billion. The mass rapid transit system between Gurgaon Manesar Bawal over a length of about 82 km would be implemented as joint venture participation between Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor Development Corporation and Haryana in- State Industrial Infrastructural Development Corporation with an investment of about 17328 crore the project would be funded by Japan International Cooperation Agency and has been included in the JICA rolling plan With this we have reached the business end of this video but before we wrap it up let us also take a look at the various other mega projects coming up in the state of Haryana the 1857 revolt museum bahadurgarh metro link project and karnool faridabad smart city project are some of the most forward looking projects coming up in the state of Haryana please do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel so that it motivates us to bring for you a host of other infra stories and updates of various states situated in india signing off with an assurance that coming up next is the capital of india new delhi let's see what's under construction in the neighboring state of haryana thank you for watching this video